Hi, for today's video, we will be talking about what is Phi Vux Intensity Scale. Are you ready? Let us begin. What is Phi Vux Earthquake Intensity Scale or PEIS? The Phi Vux Intensity Scale or PEIS is a seismic scale used and developed by the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology to measure the intensity of an earthquake. The PEIS has 10 intensity scales represented in Roman numerals with intensity 1 being the weakest and intensity 10 being the strongest. The Phi Vux intensity scale are as follows. Intensity scale 1. Scarcely perceptible. Perceptible to people under favorable circumstances. Delicately balanced objects are disturbed slightly. Still water in container oscillates or moves slowly. Intensity scale 2. Slighty felt. Vibration is felt by few individuals at rest indoors. Hanging objects swing slightly. Still water in containers oscillates or move noticeably. Intensity scale 3 is described as weak. Vibration is felt like a light truck passing by. It is felt by many people indoors, especially in upper floors of buildings. Hanging objects swing moderately. Still water in containers oscillates moderately. Intensity scale 4. Moderately strong. It is generally felt by people indoors and by some people outdoors. Vibration is felt like a heavy truck passing by. Light sleepers are awakened. Hanging objects swing considerably. Motor cars may rock slightly. Liquids in containers are slightly disturbed. Dinner plates, glasses, windows and doors rattle. Water in containers oscillates strongly. A rumbling sound may sometimes be heard. Intensity scale 5. Strong. Vibration is felt by most people indoors and outdoors. Many sleeping people are awakened. Some are frightened, some run outdoors. A strong shaking and rocking is felt throughout the building. Dining utensils clatter and clink, while some are broken. Hanging objects swing violently. Small, light, and unstable objects may fall or overturn. Liquids spill from filled open containers. Standing vehicles rock noticeably. Leaves and twigs of trees shake. Intensity scale 6. Very strong. Many are frightened. Many run outdoors. Furnitures and other heavy objects are displaced. Wall plaster may crack. Some people lose their balance. Small church bells may ring. If on the road, it may feel like driving with flat tires. Very old or poorly built houses and man-made structures are slightly damaged though well-built structures are not affected. Limited rock falls and rolling boulders occur in hilly to mountainous areas and escarpments. Trees are noticeably shaken. Intensity scale 7. Destructive. Most people are frightened and run outdoors. Heavy objects and furniture overturn or topple. Big church bell may ring. People find it difficult to stand in upper floors. Old or poorly built structures suffer considerable damage. Some well-built structures are slightly damaged. Some cracks may appear on dikes, fish ponds, road surface, or concrete hollow block walls. Limited liquefaction, lateral spreading and landslides are observed. Trees are shaken strongly. Intensity scale 8. Very destructive. People find it difficult to stand even outdoors. Many well-built buildings are considerably damaged. Concrete dikes and foundation of bridges are destroyed by ground settling or toppling. Railway tracks are bent or broken. Tombstone may be displaced, twisted, or overturned. Utility posts, towers, and monuments may tilt or topple. Water and sewer pipes may be bent, twisted, or broken. Liquefaction and lateral spreading causes man-made structures to sink, tilt, or topple. Numerous landslides and rockfalls occur in mountainous and hilly areas. Boulders are thrown out from their positions particularly near the epicenter. Fissures and faults rupture may be observed. Trees are violently shaken. Water splash or slop over dikes or banks of rivers. Intensity scale 9. Devastating. People are forcibly thrown to the ground. Many cry and shake with fear. Most buildings are totally damaged. Bridges and elevated concrete structures are toppled or destroyed. 
numerous utility posts, towers, and monument are tilted, toppled, or broken. Water sewer pipes are bent, twisted or broken. Landslides and liquefaction with lateral spreadings and sand boils are widespread. The ground is distorted into undulations. Trees are shaken very violently with some toppled or broken. Boulders are commonly thrown out. River water splashes violently or slops over dikes and banks. Intensity scale 10. Completely devastating. Many trees are toppled, broken, and uprooted. Practically all man-made structures are destroyed. Massive landslides and liquefaction, large-scale subsidence and uplift of landforms and many ground fissures are observed. Changes in river courses and destructive seiches in large lakes occur. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more grade 8 science video lessons.